Holy the I just thought I'd stop it there. If you've just tuned in and you are watching on my YouTube live, I'm just putting together a video and I'm getting a bit bored to be honest. So I decided that I'd um push stream and get a video out there. But what I'm doing is actually name and shaming everyone that has been part of Hyper Fund, Hyper Capital, Hyperverse, and now Hyper Nation. And I'm asking people if they recognize anyone to put timestamps in it. Now, probably not a good idea on the live stream, but in about three hours time, we will have a video online where you can actually name and shame people. Now I've gone through and got about 30 different clips and I've got people's faces. So it's like a police lineup. It's really good. But I'm just doing the video at the moment. So I, I'm getting bored. So I thought I'd stream the last part of me doing this video. So let's get back to it. Whoops. Bye. 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 Have a nice weekend. Thank you guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. 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 Thank I'll show you. I'm actually writing everyone's name down that uh, I see in these videos. Um, as you see, I've got a big list here because these people need to be, be made accountable. And so if you see anyone in here, I'm tr obviously trying not to double up, but I've got 30 videos I've put together and I'm going through and I'm looking for every idiot who's dumb enough to be in a Zoom meeting and use their real name. And then I'm copying it through and I will put the times once I finish this video to actually so people can click in here. And what that basically means, if you've been training yourself in the uh, hyper community area and you um, have been scamming people, I'm going to name and shame you. So that means that when you search for your name on Google, you will come up as being part of a Ponzi scheme. So that's my mission today. And I'm asking people to help me by subscribing to my YouTube channel, hitting the thumbs up button. And that makes a huge difference simply because um, I'll keep this going. You don't need to listen to all these goodbyes because when you hit the thumbs up, it tells YouTube you like my video. And then when you finish watching the last YouTube video that you watched, it will suggest that this is a good video for you. And that's where they throw these videos in to the mix. Now there's not many people out there busting Ponzi schemes and I'm all dressed up and I've got nowhere to go. <laughs> and I want to bust these Ponzi schemes for a living. So that means I need your help. I need you to subscribe. I want you to share these videos if you can. And then we will do our best to name and shame these people. And this will be a deterrent because people who think that they can get involved in Ponzi schemes and hide behind a computer and have a passive income when they're literally stealing from the poor and giving to the rich, I want to stop them. I've already had a death threat in the last couple of weeks um, because of my work. And I want you guys to support me not by protecting me from some idiot, but just hit the thumbs up button and tell Google that you like these videos and that will help get these videos out. And if you do see someone in one of these videos, I don't know them all. I really want you to help me and we will do our best to name and shame these people. I wanna know the main ringleaders. And if you look at the top left of these videos, you can actually see who the main ringleader is, the one that is running the Zoom meeting at the moment. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to taking notes Thanks a Thank you, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.
Thank you. Happy holidays. Thank you. Happy holidays. Thank you. 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 Now, one thing you can really help me with is I'm dyslexic, and reading and writing, I literally have a reading and writing level of a 9.3-year-old, so they told me when I got tested at the age of 23. The aid of technology has changed my life, and I use voice recognition, but when I'm recording these videos, I have to look at the name, and it's like tracing a picture for me, and it's painful. So please do, in the comments section, post you know, the person's name and the timestamp that you saw them, it will be great. Uh, not this video, the one that follows this. So you'll have to go through and look at my latest published videos. This one will be called, I had a name for it. What do we have the name of this video? I've, I've shut it, but I have actually got a name of it, but it'll be Name and Shaming the, the, the Scammers Who Stole $4 billion from people who were poor. Something like that. Anyway, look for the video and do your part to help me out. It'd be great. And let's go back. Carolina Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, I'll just stop that one there for a second. Um, yeah, so you can see I'm taking notes. Um, maybe you recognize people in these photos. Please help me build a database of people that have scammed people. These are the future scammers. These people, a lot of them have invested $10,000, yes, $10,000, so they can become part of the hyper nation. And they've just realized they've probably been scammed by hypernation because these NFTs that they've paid $10,000 for don't really give them anything. They now have to purchase membership plans. However, if they recruit people with the membership plans that they retrieve, they get, um, they will be able to get more money quicker and accelerate the amount of money. They're offering seven times a 7% return on their investment. I don't know over what period, but last time it was over 600 days and then 1,330 days which is ridiculous. It sounds too good to be true. If my grandmother ever gave me any good advice, they don't. she didn't because I don't even know who she is, but your grandmother might have said these words to you. If it sounds too good to be true, it often is. A lot of these people in these windows are not innocent, um, and I'm taking down their names because I want to name and shame them. But as I said, I need your help. Hit the thumbs up, uh, message me in the comment sections, timestamps of people that you see in these windows. Let's put a stop. Let's take back control and let's stop these people using technology, crypto scams and crypto terminology that no one really understands and let's see what we can do to put a stop to these people.
Chris Play. If I wake up with these voices in my head at 3 a.m. this morning, I'm coming back to complain to Facebook, YouTube. Thank you. Bye bye bye. Oh, this is a bit quieter. Don't forget me, Adrian. Please. Thank you. I suppose I could turn it down a little bit. Right, Henry. Henry. Um, let's put it over here so you can see what I'm doing, make it more interesting. Ah, oh, forgotten already. When, when you're a dyslexic person, um, Bell, I have to look at the word and memorize what it looks like. And then once I've finished writing it, I have to go back and actually uh, look at it and see if it looks the same. So Henry Bell might be an easy name for a lot of people, but for me it does my head in. And also words that are close to like M or N or R, they all seem to merge together. So I'm going to try to do, I can't even pronounce it, Lauren, which just disappeared off the screen. And hopefully they'll come back because I've started typing it. And I go, nope, can't do it. And now I'm going to Apostle. I don't think they wonder if that's your real name. But I'm looking for, like, Keith Warden, right? So Keith, e in Keith, and he's gone. Oh, no, there he is. Warden, Warden. And now I look at it, and I go, did I get it right? And I think I did. Now I have to go back and check. Yep, that's good. So you're a scammer. Now we're looking for... Um, oh, I don't know. Oh, Magenta Phillips. Magenta, I can't even say it, and I have to write it now. Jen, E N A, and then Phillips, P H O I. Now, Phillips is always a horrible name. It's got two L's and two I's. That really does your head in. Is it Philip or Philip? Philip, there it is. And Magenta doesn't look right. Have I done something wrong with that name because it's got a spelling area with it? Error. Now, she's gone. I think I got that right. But for some reason, it's telling me it's spelt wrong. So, I probably need a PA. So, if you want to be a PA and work free of charge for me, that would be really. Oh, there it is, Magenta, M A R. G A N. Yeah, it is right. It just says it looks wrong. Interesting. So, if you are a dirty, rotten scammer and you are on these Zoom meetings, why are you using your real name? And then don't worry about it. If you've got your face on here, then I'll be able to do a screenshot of your face and do a Google Vision search and find every photo that looks like you on the internet. It's quite amazing what you can do these days to find people. But what I normally do, if you're wondering, is I actually go to your Facebook page and then I um, search for your name and I find what country you're in. Most of them are actually in America because you guys are sort of real easily to, easy to believe in scams. And unfortunately, as I said earlier on in this video, the community they're going after is the black African community with religious beliefs and they're using their religious undertones. Now, when the Hypernation did their release the other day, they talked about things like um, the light will get brighter. <laughs> And I thought, oh my God, when I was a Jehovah's Witness, I'm not now, even though I'm dressed up like one, knock, knock, who's there? <laughs> the Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, I got kicked out when I was 23. They um, taught us very well about the Bible, and they told us not to listen to any worldly people, and they told us not to associate anyone or listen to people that would preach mistruths to us. Little did I know I was being, being given a whole bunch of lies at the same time. So it was just ridiculous, really. Anyway, back to getting these names. If you want to help me, what you can do in the comments section, if you recognize anyone that I haven't already got on the list, then please do add it in the comments, and I'll update the master list at the top. Let's name and, um, what do they call it? Name and shame these people who have, um, you know, scammed people. Just to put it into perspective, that... Did you know that each VIP five needs to recruit 2,000 people? Now, to be uh, in Hyperverse at the time, you needed to invest either 300 or 400. So let's take the average of 400 times that by five. That is mm, $8, $8 million. Now, every VIP, there's meant to be five of them. So if you times five by eight, whoop, is that right? Yeah, 8 million by 500, that adds up to $4 billion. Now, I've spoke to a few people who have invested 
$80,000. And one guy rang me up, told me his mate invested $80,000, and he thought because he's investing $80,000, he must know what he's doing, so he invested $5,000. And I've heard of stories like that all day long. So this could be a $10 billion scam, who knows? And people like Keith Williams and Kalpesh Patel have been creating multiple accounts which might not seem like a big deal because if you went into the bank and said, hey, I want to open up 21 accounts, well, the bank say, oh, can't do that. It will bankrupt us. It will make us crash sooner. Of course not. But they were putting these empty accounts underneath people they were recruiting, knowing that they were good recruiters. So literally scamming the scammers. And Kalpesh Patel, I've heard that he was taking out a million dollars a day from Hyperverse before it crashed. And I originally heard it was $10 million a month, but I have actually seen him in an ATM machine taking out $35,000 at a hit. And now he lives in Dubai in the 56th floor of some building uh, overlooking, um, you know, in Dubai, which must be an amazing lifestyle. But that's where your money's gone. And now people are complaining that they're not even getting their initial investment back. And the only reason they think that they are going to get the initial investment back is because they've been told it by a corporate who doesn't exist. And people still believe that people like Ryan Zhu and Sam Lee are involved. Now, we haven't seen Ryan Zhu since December 2021, which is a good 18 months ago. And people still believe that he's involved. Now, when they did the launch of Hypernation, there was no... There was no one involved, like, um, there was no mention of Keith Williams. There was blockchain, uh, sorry, Bitcoin Rodney, um, Kalpesh Patel, Brenda Chanda, all these, um, they've all taken off and started promoting uh, Nova, Novatech or Novatech Group or WeWe.Global or Apollo Group. And these are other Ponzi schemes because when the money dried up, they had to go get a job. And they couldn't get a real job. They want to continue promoting Ponzi schemes. So these people that you are looking at in these meetings are not Joe Bloggs, Danny's or Martha's or Mary's. These are people that go there every week to learn how to train, how to scam people. So these people need to be exposed. They need to be broadcasted on the internet. So when people do their research on people like Danny DeHeck and they search Google, they will find articles about how these people are scamming them. I'm on a crusade. I'm working full time at exposing these people for po promoting Ponzi schemes. I'm sick and tired of people getting away with it. I'm risking my reputation. Why don't you help me just by hitting the thumbs up button or subscribing to my YouTube channel and hitting that bell to be notified when I do my latest videos. Now, if you are um, trying to help me, then what I'd recommend you do is go to a web browser. What, what am I doing here, Danny? Go to a web browser, uh, go to my website, and go to my Contact Us page, and put your name um, and your email, because I might want to ask you a few questions. If you want to keep our correspondence anonymous, then please do in the subject line, put anonymous and I will not tell anyone your name or will not share any of your details to anyone. We'll just have a private correspondence session and then put your message in there. If you want to put the timestamp, you can post it directly under the video. So you go down to here. Now see how the timestamps work? work? They will come up just like you see here and people will be able to click on this person here and it will take straight into that um, video part of them talking and that's what we're trying to do today. All right, and if you go down a little bit further, you can add your comments in here, and then I will get the comments and I will update um, the times. I also repeat the show notes, as I call them, uh, in, in the pinned at the top, because some people don't realize how to get into the show notes, and it's a wee bit tricky on a cell phone. So let's go back to um, my video. Oh, I just hit the wrong button. There we go. And let's carry on. And I'm looking for names. I'm doing it as we go. And we're also broadcasting some of this live on YouTube at the moment, even though I'm going to do a video um, once this is finished. And I have, oh my God, not too much. Nine, 11 minutes to go. Whoop, sound. Thank you. Thank you for your time, guys. Thank you. Happy New Year. 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 Happ
Thank you. We all want to be family. Thank you so much, everyone. Great. Thank you. God bless everyone. Wow. God bless everyone. I mean, do you really think God is going to bless these people, Keith? I mean, what the hell are you thinking? I mean, you're a scammer, and I don't even know how you sleep at night. I've had the joy of saying that to your face. And now you're telling everyone to God bless everyone. And what does God bless really mean? Is it Robin Hood, God bless? You make me sick. Hi, Hi. 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 Two noises going on here. I've got two noises going on. Is that me or you or them? Oh, it's me. It's Mr. Sorry about that. I wonder what that was. Thank you, Tammy. Keep speaking the truth. Shut up. I mean, it is like a drug, really, isn't it? I mean, that's what's happening here. I mean, people want to be part of community. I mean, you know, a lot of people go to church because they want to be part of community and they don't really have a belief in the Bible or God or Jesus or Satan or the serpent or Lucifer or the archangel or the 12 apostles or Noah or Adam, Eve, Steve, what do you want to call it, right? And um, But they want to be part of a community. And the hyper community is such lovely people. I mean, do you really want, you know, to be part of a community where you know that the objective is to build a passive income so that you've got a nice, cozy lifestyle and that you can live your life better than everyone else's? I mean, okay, who wouldn't want a passive income? Who wouldn't want the money? But do you want to be sleeping in your flash little bed in your nice little house thinking that you scam people to get there. I mean, I travel countries. I've been to 35 countries. And the last trip I did was China, Bangladesh, and India. There's a lot of people in India and Bangladesh who really are on the bones of their ass. I get most out of those people. They take me back to their families, and I get to meet their families. They make me lunch. I went out with a Bangladesh family. He had about 10 of them, and he paid for my lunch. And he, he wasn't wealthy but that's the type of people I want to hang around with. I don't want to hang around people that want to get greedy. 
So what about you? I mean, is this so important that you need a passive income that you're prepared to train up how to use sales techniques in NLP training like Keith Williams and Kalpish and Brenda Chanda and um, Bitcoin Rodney have used so that you can scam people out of money? I mean, come on, guys. I mean, hey, we all make mistakes, but these people need to be named and shamed. These are not people being sold to. These are people that have bought memberships and are wanting to be recruited on how to get more members under their belt. They don't, it's not like, oh, I invested in Hyperverse and I didn't know it was a scam. These guys are well aware it's a scam. I mean, how do they sleep at night? Hey, Keith. Yeah, bye -bye. Yeah, yeah, please. Be positive in our world. Thank you so much. That person needs an audio check. So if you just tuned in, what I'm actually doing is building up a database of people that are scamming people. And that's what that, that note is all about. So as I've said all the way through this video is if you recognize people in these photos and I haven't got their first and last name, that's what I'm after. Because this database is going to be really useful to give to the authorities so they can help track these people down. And if you think you can hide on a Zoom meeting, when you go into a Zoom meeting, they say, are you aware that this has been recorded? And you click yes, you're giving people like me um, the privilege of being able to broadcast this around the world. So your privacy is basically gone, unfortunately. So if you recognize people in here that I haven't got on my list, by all means, post it in the comments section or go to my website and tell me the name and the timestamp of this video and I'll update this and I appreciate your help. I'm a one-man band fighting Ponzi schemes. Give me a break. Help me. Do I really have to sit here and watch these these people? They do my head in. Anyway, I'll um, go back to listening to all the goodbyes, which theoretically is the most fun part of being in these Zoom meetings. Everyone goes, I love this part. Hi, everyone. Ronald, thank you. Goodbye. Love your family, Keith. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. It's Good night. Good night. Good night. Right, I'm just going to stop that one there for a while. Um, James Slaw, you are a scammer. Slaw, is that right? And we've got, um, see, when you're dyslexic, having a, a, sawn, a sawn off shotgun, that's not right. Uh, a shortened name isn't making it very easy. So this is terrible spelling, but let me get this right. So we've got E L G. E, and then we've got Ali, which is probably lowercase, unless she doesn't know how to spell. Like my last name is D-Hex, so D-E is normally lowercase, so I presume she's the same, or he's the same. See, I don't even know if these are males or females. Anyway, that's what I'm doing, so any help would be much appreciated. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you so much. It's been so great. Oh, I'm just going to stop it there while I take down a Pierre. I can't even say it, Joseph, is it? I think I already got him, actually. I'm going to double up here a few times, aren't I? What have we got? Any other new ones? Derek Wilson. Oh, I don't know if I've seen him, but let's go Derek. Capital Derek Wilson. Is it Wilson, do you reckon? Wilson. Yeah, it's all of it. Wilson. Derek Wilson. Ronald Bassey. I think I've already got him. 
That's cool. And, oh, here we go, Joshua. Uh, Josh, uh, you, and then Sim. Oh, I think I've got that one because it rings a bell. All right, let's carry on. Not long now. Let's get this bread, Bye. baby. Bye. 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 Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for all what they do. And keep some good energy. Thank you. Good energy throughout the week. Thank you, Valerie. Let's keep our eyes on Valerie. Valerie. Let's keep our eyes on Valerie. 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 Or it could be Novatech. Uh, they are the two that a lot of people have gone over to. Now, do not be tempted to get involved in these Ponzi schemes. These guys are the ones making the money, and you are the idiots if you fork out any money, especially with these NFTs. I mean, these yellow box NFTs, I reckon they've sold 70,000 of them. So it's been a flop. A $70,000, $100 each is $7 million. It's nothing. It's nothing in comparison to what these guys have scammed people out of in the past. Judith iPad, that's a funny name. Wow, that's the youngest person yet involved in hyper fund or hyper capital or hyper verse. But the time you get old enough to be legal enough to take it out of it, open a bank account, this will be a joke. And you may be watching yourself on the internet. Thank you. 
great weekend. Deal for that. Hey, 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 hey
what do they call it, Ponzi schemes, simply by hitting the likes up. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you've enjoyed some of it. I'm now going to do a short video showing you how Kalpish Patel and Keith Williams were encouraging people to um, set up multiple accounts so that they could profiteer from it. These guys have scammed the people in the community and we need to actually put a stop to all this activity. I'm a real big supporter of passive incomes. I help people um, in business. I own a business networking company in my hometown. I get people together physically and we all talk about business and we help people survive and thrive. That's what I do. And I, I don't believe in get-rich-quick schemes. I believe in starting a business, having a dream, building a clientele, buying a product, providing a service, putting a profit on top, and at the end of the year, you go away to your accountant and you go, how did I do this year? And he says, you broke even this year, Danny, is normally a good thing for me. Or you've had a good year. You're up 50% on the year before. That's what good business is all about. So don't think there's a get-rich-quick scheme out there. We live in a have-now world. Children leave school, they expect to have a high-paying job, and they expect to have a house and have their own home by the age of 21. And they think they can get rich quick. In the real world, the one that I got brought up in, it doesn't work that way. And it really pisses me off when I see these people stealing from the poor and giving to the rich. Do your bit. Help me fight cybercrime. I'm Danny DeHeck. And if I do it right, I might even be able to go out singing my music. I'm Danny DeHeck. And this is my YouTube channel. Help me fight cybercrime. Help me expose Ponzi schemes. That's what I do. I need your support. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the thumbs up, or leave a comment and make my day. Thank you. Hello, I'm Danny D. Heck. Would you believe hibernation is a rinse and repeat from Hyperverse? Hyperverse was a rinse and repeat from Hyperfund. And Hyperfund was a rinse and repeat from Hyper Capital, which is all derived from a company called Hyper Tech Group, to these videos so that they can um, see people active. All right, I'm still recording, and I didn't realize I were, so I'll put a stop to this recording. I'm actually working on doing the thumbnail at the moment. Thanks for watching.